Uh, my name is uh, Jonathan Dalkey. I'm from Cologne, Germany, and I'm a senior here at UMO, and I'm on the track and field cross country team. What were some of the obstacles that you faced before you even got to college? I uh, actually raced in a uh, charity event with my family when I was about nine years old. And at that point, I, I knew I had some talent in running, but I got into the race and I collapsed actually three quarters into the run. And after that, I was, I was very scared to even try running again. So for several years, I, I, I didn't want to go anywhere near it. And that was probably one of the uh, biggest obstacles I had, especially considering uh, that I didn't know what the right sport was for me at, at that point. And I thought it was running, and then I was so scared to run again that, you know, it took me several years to, to get back into it. But fortunately, my uncle and, and my, my mom, they talked me back into running again and uh, got me back on the right track. So coming from Cologne, Germany, what was your recruiting process like? I actually worked with a um, recruitment agency back home. Uh, they set up the contacts with the coaches and talked to athletes that are interested in studying in the United States. And through them, I found the contact to the University of Mount Olive and, and Coach Matt in particular, Coach Matt Van Leer, who's a coach of uh, Humo track and field and cross country. And right away, he was like, John, I want you to run for us. You know, I want you to be on our team. And no coach you know, approached me that way. And I was impressed by that. And then, of course, the uh, athletic scholarship played a big part in it. And of course, uh, the quality of the team. I, I saw where some of the athletes in the past had gone from being on the team here and improving year by year. And I thought, you know, this might be a place for me where I could, you know, get my running career really started. What has been your biggest personal battle so far um, throughout your college career? You know, before I came here, I thought I might struggle with, um, you know, homesickness or missing my, my home. And I actually never experienced anything like that. You know, UMO made me feel like home the very first day I got here and a great deal comes from uh, a great part of that is due to my teammates you know who are very helpful and really quickly became my family on the track I think injuries were a big problem for me for many years and just adjusting to the training program because it was very different from what I was used to back home and this led to me being injured you know my first cross-country season I missed uh, the two biggest races of the season I was only alternate uh, for the cross-country national championships and the regionals and then in track I got injured again, my sophomore year I got injured and this just, you know, worried me so much. Like, I had such a hard time battling those injuries before finally my junior year I made it almost all the way through one season injury free and it finally paid off a big time and I was, I was able to reach my athletic goals. So those are probably the biggest obstacles I faced. Other than that, outside of the track, outside of injuries, I don't think I had too many obstacles. Humo really made it, made it easy for me to adjust and, and improve as a person. As an athlete, I think for many years, I really wasn't as committed to running uh, as I was here. You know, like it took me several years to realize, okay, you really have to work every uh, hard in every single practice, every single day, uh, take every race as serious as possible and compete as hard as you can. And this is something that I picked up here. Uh, it wasn't until I came here that I developed this uh, worth, uh, work ethic, uh, if you know what I mean. So winning regionals, um, becoming an All-American in cross country for the first time, this is my goal. Actually, this summer I uh, represented my home country, Germany, for the first time at the uh, European Under-23 Championships. And this is something I wanna pursue even further. You know, I wanna represent my country Again and again, you know, as, as, as many times as possible, the next opportunity for me will be uh, this December to race at the European Cross Country Championships. Hopefully, I will make the team, and um, UMO is a, is a great part in that, you know, enabling me to pursue all, all those dreams, and, and this will continue after graduating here, for sure. Uh, I'll continue running, continue my uh, career as an athlete, and UMO will always be the most significant part in making me the athlete, you know, I am going out of college, you know, just more committed, more dedicated, and more professional. And for uh, studies, I guess, you could say uh, that, you know, graduating from UMO with a psychology degree, I want to pursue a, a, a master's degree in sports psychology, so I really can't let go of, of the whole sports aspect, if you will, 
Uh, even though I'm a psychology major, I'm, I'm always fascinated by sports. So this is really the uh, direction I want to go in. So I'm looking into master's degrees back home. Do you see the Olympics in your future at some point? Yeah, that's definitely a goal. Like, if you if you had asked me that question a year ago, even um, I would have said, "Wow, you're you must be crazy." You know, like that wasn't on my horizon at all. I didn't expect any of that. But now I'm getting to a point where this is really becoming a possibility. So 2020, it's only uh, three years from now, less than three three years. So I could see myself improving to a degree where. I could be in the conversation to make the team for that. Luckily, I'm, I'm German, so it's a little bit easier than making the US team, for example. But uh, still, yeah, this is, this is one of my dreams that I have for my athletic career, definitely.